BBC News political editor Laura Koonsberg has outlined the biggest problem for Remainers in the House of Commons following the crushing blow for the Prime Minister after the Supreme Court ruling against his decision to suspend Parliament on Tuesday. Prime Minister Boris Johnson was dealt a huge blow on Tuesday morning after the Supreme Court ruled against his decision to suspend Parliament. But, speaking on politics in crisis, BBC News special. The BBC's political editor Laura Koonsberg pointed out the big problem facing Remainers. The journalist claimed those in the Rebel Alliance and in opposition parties do not agree on what to do next. She said, there is no question that the Rebel Alliance as everybody has come to call them. The opposition parties and former Tories, some of the most Tory grandees like Ken Clark who are part of this Rebel Alliance. They have the numbers to take control of every day in Parliament that it sits. But, it is also the case that they do not agree amongst themselves on what to do next. Some of them want another referendum. Some of them want to have a compromise on the deal. Some of them frankly are not quite sure, hour by hour, what they would like to do next. Where they are united is they want to tie up Boris Johnson as tightly as they possibly can to make sure that he doesn't open the Pandora's box of leaving without a deal. But, in a funny way, the court has made history, but our politics are almost in exactly the same place as they were this morning, the Prime Minister has faced cause to resign falling the Supreme Court ruling on Tuesday morning ruling his suspension of Parliament was unlawful. Speaker John Burko announced the House of Commons will sit at 11.30am and while the usual Wednesday session of Prime Minister's questions will not take place, MPs will be given opportunities to hold the government to account. The Prime Minister, who has been in New York for the UN General Assembly, insisted he would not be deterred by the ruling from taking Britain out of the EU on the 31st of October. Mr Johnson said he had the utmost respect for the judiciary and would abide by the court's ruling, but said he strongly disagreed with its decision. He said, I think it would be very unfortunate if Parliament made that objective which the people want more difficult but we will get on. The Prime Minister is expected to land in the UK around midday on Wednesday and is thought he will likely address the Commons in the afternoon. Mr Johnson also spoke to the Queen after the verdict, according to a government source who would not comment on whether he apologised to the monarch. The Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn, who brought forward his conference speech so he could return to Westminster on Wednesday said that once a no-deal Brexit was off the table, they would seek a general election. He told delegates in Brighton, the Prime Minister acted illegally when he tried to shut down opposition to his reckless and disastrous plan to crash out of the European Union without a deal. But he has failed. This unelected Prime Minister should now resign. SNP leader at Westminster Ian Blackford added that once it was clear a no-deal Brexit was blocked, MPs should combine to pass a vote of no confidence. He said, we cannot tolerate this man who is behaving in an undemocratic manner, behaving like a dictator. He has to be removed from office and the opposition has to come together. The opposition has to do its job.